All right, so we've incorporated uh, TrueFlow Grid into MeasureQuick. It's, it's actually pretty awesome and pretty simple to use. And uh, in the toolbox, you'll just activate the, the TrueFlow Grid, and we'll go ahead and, and uh, Chris will sort of walk us through it. So I'm going to go ahead and select Use TrueFlow App, and we'll go ahead and run a test for MeasureQuick. And what we have here is an air handler. It's in the upflow position. You can see that we automatically poured it in a tonnage for MeasureQuick, and the return air temperature is coming in. We'll select our filter and location of the filter slot because we're going to measure down here in the slot. Turn this to 400 CFM per ton. We'll hit next. And now we're going to get a measurement in our return. This is going to do a full diagnostic of the duct system, return, filter drop, coil drop, uh, and air handler. So now we got uh, the filter measurement. So let's go ahead and move after the filter, Chris. All right, we'll get another measurement after the filter. And then uh, we got a good measurement on the filter. And then we're going to move this up and we're going to get the supply duct. So now we got a return after our filter and our supply. And now we want to hit continue on the app. And then we want to remove the filter. So go ahead and pull that filter out. And we're going to replace the filter with the true flow grid. Now you got to make sure that you get the orientation right on the grid. There is a, uh, why don't you show them there, Chris? Um, there is an orientation arrow here that says airflow in this side. And when we slide this in, we want to make sure that the gasketing is touching the back wall of the filter box, but we don't want it to go so far back that we leak any air around the filter grid. Also, you want that to position properly so the air is hitting it as perpendicular to the grid as we can on there. Go ahead and throw the door back on there. And as soon as we throw the door back on, you can see we're starting to get an airflow measurement. So I'm going to hit take measurement. Now this is going to do a, a few second averaging to get a nice reading on that. And then we got our measurement, we hit continue, and then we're going to just hit save, save that measurement. And then down at the bottom here we can sort of review our test. So our airflow is in the right range, static pressure looks good. We got our three pressures on our, on our uh, uh, return, filter pressure drop and supply plenum pressure. We hit just measure quick continue. And then we can hit measure quick return. And then if we go into the indoor readings here, you will see that we have our measured CFM, our return static, supply static, and total external static from the true flow grid. So this really makes it a lot easier if you're doing things like compliance testing or uh, if you're working for a municipality that requires true flow grid. This really yep. makes it pretty slick. So yep. we try to make it as easy as possible. If you're putting data in measure quick, we're pulling that data over. You don't have to do double entry capture it, we're sending it right back to measure quick, right where it goes. Jim's going to take those calculations, put them to work. Yeah, so in a few weeks, uh, we'll have this released and you guys can start playing with it.